Well, hello. <laughs> Camera. Uh, I... I... I don't like it when... No. No. I thought I would show you... My records. <laughs> I never listen to them. I mean, I've got a record player. And I was so glad when I got it. But I never... I rarely play these. Like, the most I've played... And maybe, um... All Things Must Pass. Maybe that's the one I've played the most. Five times? You know, I'm... <laughs> it's not how I do it. It's, and when I'm going... I'm, I'm not bringing these. <laughs> I didn't even... Most of them are at my... my they were at my Oma's house. Uh, so they were my dad's and my uncle's and things. So I didn't even pick most of them, and I got rid of them some before I left for across the province back in the fall. But I thought I'd show you because records are so... So, um, so hip. Hip. So I've got All Things Must Pass, where the first record, I think it goes like this, the first record is really scratched. The second record is really dusty, but then I cleaned it off. And the third record, the one which is like a bonus record of just jams, it's dusty and scratched. It literally skips, but you don't notice because the music is so silly and repetitive. Oh, it's not silly. I don't know. You know, did everything with a grain of salt. This is a laser disc that my um, grade eight and nine science teacher gave me when he left. Great guy. It's got some science stuff on it. Um, not that I've seen it. Uh, Super Trooper by ABBA, don't know if I've ever played it. And these are all gonna be backwards. <laughs> ABC. One, two, three. This was one of the, this, a friend gave me this record, which was very nice of it. Uh, I think I might have played it once. Instead. Um, this is the right way around, so the wrong way around. Haven't played it. This is... 20 Beach Boys songs, which you might be thinking 20, that's a lot for one record. It's also... Look, so this is the front. And then this is the back. It's not like that. No, it's, it's silly. I think it sounded pretty bad as well, but I don't remember. I might have played it once. I remember when I got it, though, I went with Betty. Um, and stood next to a car. Then... <laughs> so then, I bought an old stereo Sgt. Pepper a long time ago. I think, I believe it's Canadian. Um, and that's all fun. And then I was at the record store, and I thought, you know, I think I'm gonna go buy Sgt. Pepper's, because I forgot that I'd already bought Sgt. Pepper's at the same record store. And so I've got the remix, which, you know, to be fair, the remix is the first Beatles CD I ever got, and so I didn't even know I had it. I only listened to the Sgt. Pepper remix for a long time, and I had. But yeah, I, I like it. Um, this is my dad's white album. I think I've got the poster up. It is good. I've got my friend's Bay's Beethoven that they gave me. Um, which I put up. It was, it was nice. Let's Dance by David Bowie. Good album. But the only Bowie album I have, which is probably not the way to go. What is this? Crosby, Stills, and Nash. I haven't heard that. Too bad Young's not there. I like Young. Uh, Deep Purple. My friend got this and doesn't know much about it because I think it's really scratched, but I don't remember. It was kind of moldy. Um, maybe. I don't, I, I don't remember. But I'm gonna slice. I played that. They're from Vancouver. Um, which is so cool. And it was like a comedy album. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, I think. I can even remember. Uh, saved. Dylan. Haven't listened to it. Like the cover, though. Dark Side of the Moon. Might have heard it once. Couldn't remember if I heard the bit of Ticket to Ride at the end. Uh, this one I didn't stick in one of the covers. This is Momentary Lapse of Reason. Very, very nice. Um... As far as Pink Floyd goes, I think I'd call this a David Gilmore record. Um, I mean, it's 
you know, there, there are those albums where, you know, it's got the band name on there, like Squeeze by the Velvet Underground, for example, where it's like, oh, this is, no, this is really not a band album. I mean, like, Division Bell I'm more on the fence about, because it's actually got a lot of participation from all three of the remaining members. But this one does not. <laughs> I mean, they're there. But it's not, you know, I, it's it's not my favorite. I think, you know, it's... The lyrics are not the best. On the turning away. I don't know, you know, it's, it's fun. It's fun. What one I go back to? Empire Burlesque. I had this on the turntable for like a week and I never played it. Like, we had, like, Dust Covered Down record on there. Just press the start button and turn on the speakers. That's it. This is some radio presenter compilation comedy album from Bay's collection. It's part of the Bay collection. Uh, Irish Rovers Greatest Hits. I grew up with the Irish Rovers. They're close to my heart. They're amazing. <laughs> if you want wonderful folk songs that are in a fun, joyous manner and child-friendly, even though they're like drinking songs and stuff, play the Irish Rovers. They are just fabulous. There were very few records I didn't take from the record collection in this house. Way off. There's hair on my hat. There's the hair from my hat. Um, and I think there were like two Irish Rover ones that were moldy. Oh look, the things are crossed out. I don't know all these songs because we've just got Shel Silverstein. What do you know? Uh, you have the unicorn there. Classic tune. Glass House by Billy Joel. Uh, rock and Roll to me I heard on the radio at one point. I think I like that one. I don't know, it's apparently not one of his worst albums. Which is good. You know, Billy Joel. I used to really like him, but I'm, I've begun... I haven't listened to him in a few months, but it's like... I began to hear, like, hear what people were talking about when they were like, oh, I hate the lyrics. Well, not that I hate the lyrics, but, like, he's got this, like, angle that he does, that he sings, that most of his songs are where he's, like, he's above the other person. He's, like, better than them or something. He's, like, looking down on them most of the time. And it's, like, unsettling. I, I don't know. His debut, when it isn't the weird 80s remix, and it, it doesn't sound like Alvin and the Chipmunks... <laughs> Uh, which is hard to do, because it's a rare record, uh, but I've got, I, I've got a, an online copy. Um, I, I enjoy that album, and The Stranger is good, uh, and I've got some nostalgia for, for, uh, uh, it's a 90s one. River of Dreams, it's not that good, but it's, it's fun. I remember playing it at the ski hill. Um, and Nylon Curtain. I don't know if I've ever listened to that album. Elton John Greatest Hits. I should play that one more. I like Elton John. Don't listen to him too much there. Led Zeppelin. This one has a skip. Where, you know, when I, I like, clean them and stuff. When I'm... When I can bother. But it, it's got this annoying skip. Maybe in... Good times, bad times. I know. I've, I've had trouble with Led Zeppelin as well, because I was saw... If you know Polyphonic, um, I don't watch him anymore at all, really. But he made this series on, like, how, you know, the, the sexual bad things and the awfulness that these guys, mostly... Mostly him... Mostly this guy here. But, but like, all, all of them were involved. Or, like, not saying no or something. But this guy was up to. And, you know. And it's like that with everyone. Like you mentioned Bowie and stuff. But I, I haven't had the heart to listen to them since. But, well, listen to them a lot. I should. Maybe. Imagine I love Lennon's covers. Like I think I've said that I love them one time. I thought I thought they were all fantastic. But um, 
whoever it was shot it down and were like, no, they're fine. But like, all, I mean, Double Fantasy, I like a lot. Milk and Honey, I like, it's, you know, more of the same. Um, Plasticono Band is very nice. And this one, and Mind Game. Like, the only one I don't really like is, um, they're all for like, you know, art. Art! <laughs> Blue. Or reflective. Blue. Like, cloudy album. And, I don't know. Big colors. <laughs> well, that's more mind games. But, you know, it's it's all it's all fun. Speaking of double fantasy. Yes, double fantasy. I think I'd call it my favorite Lennon album. But, you know, I'm much I'm I'm much more of a pod podder. <laughs> but um I've only listened but like I, I used to have this thing where I'd combine the songs from here in Milk and Honey and I thought, ooh, and, and it, it made a good album. Um like th this is Lennon th this is my favorite Lennon era. And I hope they do a box set with all the extra tracks and so you, you can actually have the Milk and Honey, which doesn't have brand new Yoko songs as opposed to the Yoko songs they were working on at the time, because of course the only Lennon songs that are left are the ones they were working on at the time. Silly, uh Gordon Lightfoot's salute. I got a Lightfoot CD a while ago, you know, the one um Summertime Dream, Edmund Fitzgerald and so on, but well, I've never played this one. It's Bay Connection. Um speaking of Bay. Uh that's a nice cover. It, it's I like it. Bay Collection. I haven't played it either. Ooh, this one's fun. This is Monty Python. Again, Monty Python. I've got issues with like I I bought this like Blu-ray box set where with with like the whole TV show. And I think I'm somewhere in season two. <laughs> I've been hanging it so slowly. Um But like in I think in like the last or second last episode I watched there's like Blackface. And you know, a lot of it is incorrect and bad and wrong and all those kinds of things, but It's funny. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about comedy anymore. <laughs> I don't. I used to watch lots of British comedy. Like, newer stuff. But this is a Monty Python album. Don't know what's on here. I think it's, like, got two bits of, like, those... On one, on the second side, I think I read on Wikipedia or something, it's got, like... Depending on where you put the needle down, it's, like, two different grooves. So you've got, like three parts to the album because it could either play one it could either play the other and then there's the first part, the first side which is fun and games days of future past the moody blues i like this album it's the only moody blues i've i've got or i've ever really heard i wonder if this is the remix or the original mix I've, the cd i've got is of course the remix which i quite like I mentioned stereo and mono, so it might be the original. I should hear it. You know, no, I'm I'm gonna listen to that. I will. I'm gonna listen to that one today. I keep not looking into the camera. I'm gonna listen to that. Uh. Where? Here are from my old relatives' collections of police. I've never heard of. I've got a police single CD. I just haven't even ripped it to my computer. I might have sold it. I'm... When I began first getting into music, I, we had some Sting CDs, and I, I enjoyed those, but my my tastes have changed. I mean, it's it's not... Well, I barely listen to any Sting. Rocks and... There's first the Skeel called Rocks and they're nice. Queen the Works. This is, this is, you know, with Queen, sometimes... Yes, they're silly. They're over the top. They're out of this world. But, um, and this is very much that. This is like 80s, uh, you know, not hair metal, but like hair pop rock. Kind of, you know, like tear it up and. Hammer to Fall is very fun. The, the, uh, the first I knew of that song was in Bohemian Rhapsody, the movie. After the fallout of which, no, I, nobody I knew could listen to Queen for a very long time. Um, 
you know, I, I don't think I mentioned, but I think this might be the only new record I've ever bought for myself. Like, used. <laughs> Most of it I didn't even buy. Um, but it's, it's a fun album. Other Queen albums I like. Um, I like Queen too. It's a bit weird, and it sounds a bit weird sometimes. Like, literally, it, it sounds weird. But, like, I, I don't mean the music, I mean, like, like the recording. It sounds weird. Um, and, oh, hey, Mo Moody Blues, I see you there. <laughs> it's, it's, it's down there on my pile of jeans and sweaters. I've got so many pants that they don't fit in my dresser anymore. So I've got all my jeans and similar, not shorts, not sweatpants, on top of my dresser, along with all of my sweaters. <laughs> And things. Sweaters such as... I, I'll... I'll do a sweater reveal. Don't you worry. But, um... No, I like Queen too. I like... Uh, uh, uh... I like 39. A Night, a Night at the Opera. Um, it's fun. You know, Bohemian Rhapsody is a bit much, but... I love 39. <laughs> There's this, like, special thing to 39. It's a classic song, and I had it on my MP3 player. This is a Polaroid, by the way. Uh -huh. Here's me. <laughs> uh, and a Game Boy. Got it at age 10. This was the first video game I ever had. We were very non-digital, and now we're too digital. <laughs> well, you know. It goes the way it goes, but... It literally looks like a 1970s, 1970s, yeah, maybe, maybe, oh, 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 da, da, da. priceless content, there, there you go, like, it looks like a 70s movie, kind of, film, it looks like film, even though it's just a lens, more hairs, they're everywhere, I wonder why, um, I don't know where those are. Uh, he's got lots of hair. Maybe it's from him, Brian. It's fun. I enjoyed it. Oh, and um, and uh, Made in Heaven. I, I've got the Made in Heaven CD. I like that. It's it's a lot. It's too much. Like the twenty minute ambient piece at the end. Mm. And all the songs are you know massive, like this. This is a, the works is arena rock, but that's like arena rock taken to the next decade. <laughs> um, and I think the, 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 let me live with all the actual vocals, because the main released version, some early CDs have the normal one, but the main one has less vocals, because a lawsuit with Peace in My Heart, Janice Joplin, which I only heard a few, I don't know. Month ago? Months ago? Last night? I think I listened to it last night. I don't know. Went to the island to visit Bay. And that's me. Um, you might be able to hear Bay sending me messages. Bay is at work. Uh, Bay works at a movie theater. And I applied to work at one. Not today. I applied to two jobs today. Dad, it'll go anywhere. It never seems to. Um... Mario Speedwagon didn't know. Oh, wait. Keep on loving you? Is that the... Is that the big song? There's a big song on here, but I don't remember. I think it's Keep on Loving You. And then here we go. Here are the Stones. The, the, lots of Stones records. And not all of them are the best. Like, I don't know if I've even played Still Life. Is it a good track list? I have no idea. It doesn't say on the back. Too artsy for that. But for me, ro like people say, oh, Rolling Stones, the best M gay <laughs> Mick Taylor. So let it be. Let, let it be. Listen to, listen to words of blood lead um, all the way to uh, uh, Goats of Soup or... No, all the way to X, that it usually is. They're like, oh, that is peak Rolling Stones. And me? I don't go for that. I don't go for that. I think that's definitely them at their, like, 
commercial. You know, that's like, that is Stone's rock and roll. Mm, but me, I think after their first album, in Europe, they released a compilation of singles and stuff called The Round and Around. For me, that. That album is peak Rolling Stones because it's got so much energy that, like, the energy in here, I'm not going to say it's, like, forced or contrived or anything, but it's, it's not... It doesn't have the, like, absolute insanity. If we break three strings on the guitar, it doesn't matter. Though I barely know what that means. I don't play guitar. I don't want to play guitar. Though I had lessons for it back in grade 8, because that was... Grade 8 was silly, because you got... There were only, like, eight electives to choose from when you were picking your grade 8 electives in grade 7, because you were going to high school. Um, it was, like, five music things. Then there was, like... Uh, I don't know, textiles? No. There was like applied skills or whatever. I think that's what it was called. Where you do like, you know, technology things and boring. Um, and then there was fine arts, and then there were like five music things. <laughs> no. Yeah, and so for fine arts, uh, for term one, I did drama with a guy I would later have as a gym teacher. Weird guy, but um, they does not like him. But, uh, I'll say again, weird guy, but I had him, and then in term two, I had guitar, where I remember having to listen to the same, we did Twist and Shout, which was Beatles, which was fun, so I don't know if I was even into the Beatles at that point, um, um, and, uh, and I wonder when it'll stop recording. I don't think it's recording onto the SD card like it was last time, which is why it didn't, why it cut out because the SD card ran out of room. Because it's literally an SD card I found up near my Emma's house on the ground and then wiped the photos or whatever from, like, it's, it's tiny. Um, physically and all that. But anyhow, anyhow, uh, Tattoo You, this album, um, I think it's fun. Like, hang fi, if you want to get me, like, give me pure energy, play hang fire. Because <laughs> it, it's such a good, it's such a banger. Banger. Um, I think this is a fun album. I think it was certainly, well, apart from Blue and Lonesome, which I like, and we'll see what their next album does. But I think it was definitely their last guess. <laughs> Not, I, I mean, I barely listened to anything after that. Um... Rightly or wrongly. This is sucking in the 70s. I didn't even know it was by the Stones for the longest time. I might have played it once. Or twice. But here we get to, for me, with the Stones. The, um, earlier you go the better. They began after, they this, like, after 1964. And, and 60, 63 is even better than 64. Like, the production is so much worse. But... Um, the energy, dude, it's like just absolute manic power. Um, insanity, willing to shred your ears, head, arms, legs, balls, noses off. Um, but this is, it might be, this might be the record I've played the most. Like, if I'm looking for a good time, I like the stones. The, the stones are funny as well because for me, I can only listen to them. I can only enjoy them when I'm having a good time. Like any part of their career, and I think no. Okay, when they did like the psychedelic years, before they um, so uh, <laughs> hashtag ramble. But that's why you're here. I'm 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 a rambling man. Um, I'm a roving rambler, but. So they've got the early balls to the wall stones, and they began doing like soul stuff, but still doing the rockers, but not as energy well. And then they did Aftermath, which I'm never sure how I feel about the record. It's fun, and I love going home and stuff, but I don't know. I think it'll get better over time for me. And then Between the Buttons is just weird. Like, I, I enjoy it most of the time, but it's really weird. Like, 
it, like it's just off like well not not off but like, everything's just weird especially this like i couldn't get into it with the stereo like with, with the beatles and with lots of other bands mono and stereo i don't think it matters i mean like you know if you care it does but i think with the stones it does matter like i could not get into between the buttons before i heard the mono mix but anyway this is a compilation um which is very, very fun. Okay, and then, yeah, then, then they stripped it back after Satanic and did Beggar's Banquet, which I, I like Beggar's. I think it's better in mono for me, because, you know, they're trying to do, like, old blues stuff, and for me, that, 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 that don't work in stereo. Um, and then with, and that's where they began their, tra their trajectory that leads to where they are now. Um, and then they made Let It Bleed, which I think was like the formula beginning to set. The brand new formula. I'm, I'm, I'm never sure if, it, if they started the formula with Let It Bleed or, with, or if they started with Beggar's Banquet, but I think like the Let It Bleed and the albums on, they begin following this formula like none of the albums did before. <laughs> Uh, this is Through the Past Darkly, Big Hits Volume 2. That's Big Hits Volume 1, High Tide and Green Rats. Um, this has more of their later songs, but it is also a very fun time. Funny record shape as well. I think that was their last photo session with Brian Jones. And they said, if you don't come, we're going to fire you. And then he came. And then soon enough, they fired him. And then he died. Uh, like so many. This record... God, man. This is like one of our. What does that mean? Give me a notification saying size limit reached. But uh. cigarettes. We love cigarettes. This is one of the things we first wanted over, and so they got me this vinyl, and I found a CD a while later, and I only somewhat recently realized, oh, this has all the deluxe bonus tracks and things, so I downloaded those. But it's very nice. I mean, it's made for CD, like two songs and you flip it over, which is fun. I think I played it late at night one time, which was nice. It should go later at night, it's like the party. Paul Simon, One Trick Pony, love the cover. I was always like, ooh, I wish I had this record, then they gave it to me, and I was like, yay, I have this record. <laughs> yeah, I, I tried listening to it once. Uh, the last time I hung out with Jay to the, the Cigarettes concert, Cigarettes, like I just said, um, we love Cigarettes, but uh, I got You're the One by Paul Simon, and I think I listened to it once, but I fell asleep, because I was in bed, trying to sleep, and so not a huge impression it left on me, I enjoy that, um, and I will go back to it. Cat Stevens Foreigner, haven't heard it, it's apparent, I read a review and it was like, oh this is... Prague, but he didn't do it right, and I'm not much for Prague head. I, I'm like, yeah, Prague, they're just trying to be smart. It's like jazz, but without the history. Um, Street Hard Dancing with Danger, like, I don't know why I bought this. I bought that one, I think. Maybe I didn't. No, this is from Amos. Without Your Love is, what kind of love is this? That's the big song, that's the big song. Um, and then Super Tramp. I always think of them as like Pink Floyd, but like, you know, a bit not. Um, I barely listened to this one. I've got, I've got uh, Crime of the Century, which I know pretty well, and Breakfast in America, which I've listened to a total of once, uh, on CD. <laughs> Oh, sweet. I haven't listened to this. The songs, though, um, if I remember, the person who made this liked Ballroom Blitz. ACDC? Is this from before ACDC? 75? Maybe. Um, Fox on the Run. Okay, so the thing that, like, got me into music, you could say, I mean, I, I'd sort of, like, we'd always had my, like, the CDs that we played on the road trips off to Elma's house, Seven Hour Drive. My dad did it in four one time before I was born, and he said he'd never do it again. He had a ferry to catch, <laughs> and four hours is insanity. 
um, that's like over the speed limit the whole way. Uh, yeah. Um, but what was I saying? Oh yes, but uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtracks. Those those are what got me. I th I'd already bought a few CDs, but those are what got me into music. Those are what like propelled me. And uh, Fox on the Run is on one of them. So that's what I know of Sweet. And maybe one or two other songs. James Taylor, haven't heard it. Hardly listened to him, but apart from one song. UB40, I've got one CD. It's very self-titled, and this is Labor of Love. I don't know this. <gasps> Pardon me. I sneeze a lot. I've got that thing where, like, you see the sun and sneeze. That's just who I am. Chariots of Fire, this is funny, because the last time I went to England, I think I looked for... Or I've got family. Mum mom just booked her flight today, but I can't go. I've got to work, and the flights are expensive, and I need to make money, and so on. But this was the... And they had Queen 1, I think? Or Queen 2. Um, but they had this album. And this album is from my Oma's house, my dad's side. Um, and... So that's fun across the Atlantic. It must have been a huge album on both sides of the ocean. It's getting tiring. 1984. It's a place where I worked. Science World, you may know it. I did some volunteering there just before the pandemic. In one of their rooms, you press on, you step on these light things. It's like a circle on the floor, and you step on it, and it must have a sensor. And, um, you and, and it plays the beginning of the sound and play the beginning of jump and my dad according to my aunt my dad would play this album on repeat all the time when he was young and um flip it flip it flip it flip it flip it <laughs> with it um and uh so i got the cd for him a while ago but and i was like i got this for you and he was like oh nice like, come on. It's not my my cup of tea hot for teacher. God. That's entertainment. This is this looks doesn't this look so fun? It's like show to us, but I haven't listened to it. Like look at that. Isn't that just the best? I'm sure I need to play this one. It's also I'm putting it aside. You look in the camera. I'm putting it aside. Hope it won't fall down. This one, Prague. It, uh, Rick Wakeman. Maybe I'm just judgmental. Maybe Prague's really good. But I've listened to a tiny bit of it. I'm not counting Pink Floyd. They're apparently not really Prague. Um, and I, I, I enjoy Pink Floyd, but I don't listen. I go long, long times without listening to them. Um, but this is Prague. It's Rick Wakeman i.e. the guy on a and &M. that's, well, he's on a and &M, but now, it was weird, um, it's like chanting and like, like medieval stuff, the sword, the sword from the lake, <laughs> the sword, who are you by the who, again, my tastes have changed, I, way back in, I know, grade nine or something, I loved the who, uh, and you know, there are big Spotify hits, <laughs> but I tried listening to Who's Next sometime this year, and Roger Daltrey's vocals just don't do it for me. They're stupid. They're not stupid. They're whole hard rock schmaltz. I'm so mean. They're hard rock singing that I... It's not... It's not... It's not my cup of tea. A lovely silk shirt bought it on Cigarros Day. Um, and I feel wearing it like I'm, you know, like Bruce Wayne at his, like, penthouse suite with all, like, 50 women and other... Coming! Other women are getting out of his hot tub and stuff. Uh, dinner time. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be quick, I'll be quick, I'll be quick. Yeah, so I don't know if I've listened to that one. Uh, I got the CD, though, I don't know why. Odds and Sods, this is fun, this is fun. I really, maybe one of my favorite Who songs is, uh... Is it not here? 
time is passing. I guess time is passing isn't here. I hope that they make a stereo version for the box set because it's like one channel is official and then the other one like disintegrated so it's only on the bootleg. Um, and I've got who's next. I won, I was just watching a YouTube video by the guy who does this Beatles channel thing and the first time he did a contest I won it by kind of he made it so that you were able to rig it, but he didn't realize. Um, and I kind of rigged it. But it still came down to, like, a dice roll between, like, me and, I don't know, six other people. But I won. And all the way from England, he sent over his next. I think I listened to it once. And then I've got... That's why they're at the back, because I don't really like them anymore. Kids are alright. I had no idea what this was. I think it was, like, a live thing. Um, I'll play it somewhere. Or I'll sell it. And then... What's this? I've got some extra... extra sleeves. Which is always nice. Maybe it wasn't dinner time. Maybe I just misheard. Um, then I've got other records too. I've got these two... German EPs thing. EPs thing. They're like classical. Which I think looks so cool. Like, isn't that a nice label? The other one has a better label. I can't do this. <laughs> the covers are so flimsy though, they're like wet paper, but no. Is this not a lovely looking label? Like, look at that's so cool. <laughs> I love it. Um This is chaos. I can't like I can't unless I put them on the floor. I can't, like, put them away. Oh, my throat hurts. What's in my throat? <laughs> I, this is such a mess. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> um, now I've got some singles. I used to have way more singles, but I got rid of them. They were, like, what I would buy before I had a record player and before I bought records. But I've got... And I never listen to them. I've got Where the Streets Have No Name with a bunch of B-sides. I think the B-side is like 40, uh, 33 RPM, like a record, not a single, or 45. Within or Without You, that's nice and fun. Never Been to Spain by Three Dark Night, though. It's going to be on the third Guardian, Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack, the one in the movie that... the one in... No, I think it was an outtake from one game. Something by James Taylor. I just saw the name and was like, whoa, I must get it, even though don't them. Philadelphia Freedom by uh, Elton John. This is fun because it's got Lennon's last solo, last live appearance, second last live appearance of um, on, on the back of him doing I Saw Her Standing There. This is a fun little thing. Ooh, Tears for Fears. I like them. Shout. I love Shout. Turn, Turn, Turn by Mary Hopkin. The guy next to me as I was going through the singles bracket, don't drop them, was like, Beatles? You're too young for that. And I don't know what I replied with. Uh, I, I saw, I've kind of ripped off that record store, they're the only one locally. <laughs> the only one. And I, I gave them, I sold them back, this Billy Preston one, also on Apple. That's the way it got planned. Uh, even though it's totally unplayable, and I'd literally bitten into it. <laughs> bitten into it. And, um, snapped it, but you didn't, you couldn't really, like, snap, like, a, a little bit. El Condor Passa, and why do we... That might be the single mix. This might have the single mix. I've got it. The single mix. With this Miss Robinson and Old Friends. This might be the single mix. Wouldn't that be fun? I've already got them. I remember this one. I bought it for Bay. Uh, but Bay's record player couldn't play singles. And I didn't know picture discs. Sounded pretty bad. Not that I care about sound quality these things. I mean, if you want sound quality, go CD, but... Uh, and then someone else didn't know what to get Bay for this group record thing. No, group... Yeah, it's in our time. <laughs> this group uh, gift-giving thing. And so I told them I'd get that, and then they'd give it to Bay, but it's all secret. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I guess I had a bit of a crush. Um... Pink Floyd, Don't Leave Me Now, and Run Like Hell, so that'd be The Wall. And then, I love this one. This is Hit Me With Your Rhythm Stick. 
on this side by Ian and the Blockheads, which is a great song. It gets stuck in my head all the time. Hit me, hit me, hit me! <laughs> then here's the only box that I have, apart from this one and apart from a few other ones. And apart from this bootleg Beatles and Mono, which I don't know what to do with. If I sell it back, got all the money back for it, but like, I don't know. This is Space Oddity. It's got the original single and the original deep side and the remix single and the remix B side from 2019 and some posters and it's nice. It's good, but it's singles and it's box set and it's mine. <sighs> okay, I've got I've got one more record. I think. Okay. <laughs> I've also got it's what's currently on the turntable, but I put stuff on my turntable because it's this big flat area there. There it goes. Is this lovely record I had on my wall for a while, sitting up here? But it's it's this nice like Hollywood orchestral thing. Um, Songs of the West by the Norman Lubov Choir. Strong recommend. Look in the camera. It is lovely. So I think I've really got to go for dinner now. They've been waiting for a while, so maybe they can hear talk to someone. So. You can't see me anymore. Bye-bye.